Hey everybody, welcome to another recap of America's Next Top Model. Alright, uh, when they got back to the mansion from last week's elimination, Allison's booty tooch picture was up. <laughs> I absolutely love that Tyra came up with booty tooch. It's actually an urban dictionary already if you look it up. <laughs> Pretty cool. Alright, so the girls got some mail from home, but unfortunately all that was in Camille's box was Bill's. Ouch. Well, she is like old, but you know what, Camille? Everybody's got Bill's, honey. Don't don't be like, oh, I'm responsible. Guess what? I guarantee you every one of those girls has Bill's that she's got to deal with. Alright, uh, Kayla's not feeling very well. She is in bed. Her heart is racing. All of a sudden, they're checking on her, and she is throwing up and gasping for air. So the cameraman basically, like, drops the friggin' camera and is like, we got to get her to the hospital, like, right now. Call an ambulance. So they take her, and they find out that she's got cardiac arrhythmia, which is basically an irregular heartbeat. And, yeah, it's pretty scary. I think what they actually have to do eventually will be to shock her heart back into a natural rhythm because what it is is it kind of short circuits and it gets out of control I know a lot of people have this problem and it's brought on by stress so being a top model is a pretty stressful job which might put her health in jeopardy tough decisions alright so the girls go to stage 25 because they're in Holly Weird and they find out that they're auditioning for a role on TV's hit show, CSI, Crime Scene Investigation. <laughs> and Anthony Zweiker, I guess that's how you say his name, who can tell? It's got a weird spelling. Uh, he's the creator and he's going to be the guest judge this week. So they have 30 minutes to learn the lines to a scene. Basically, it looked like four lines. <laughs> okay, and if you can't learn that in 30 minutes, you're dumb as wood. Alright, so Camille, when it was her turn, she went first, was shaking like a leaf. Bianca made up her own words, and including like Neosporin. <laughs> Come on. Uh, most of the auditions were super disappointing. They weren't even mildly uh, funny. It probably would have been funnier if they had like a drunk person doing it. Angelie was actually really good, as was Brie. Lisa, however... <sighs> She wasn't funny, she wasn't cute. The only thing she could say was F. And Anthony stopped the uh, audition, gave her some personal one-on-one -on -one coaching, and she still couldn't even remember one line. It was embarrassing. All right, uh, so we find out that it comes down to Angelie and Brie. And Brie pulled it out and won. So she's going to be in a scene that's going to air this fall. Alright, so, after they get back to the house, they get Tyra Mal, <laughs> and they find out, oh, the next thing has something to do with Express. Well, you were right. It's an Express photo shoot at a Beverly Hills mansion. What else would it be? But this time, there's going to be three guys in the photo shoot. Oh, so hot and sexy. Alright, so, they were one of four things. They were either the cool chick, the girlfriend, the flirt, or the socialite. So, Angelie was great as the socialite. She really nailed it. Bianca, she had some attitude. She was a diva. She was telling Jay that she's the model here, no one else. Camille, they were wondering if she's too old for express demographic. And Lisa was jumping around like an a-hole. Um... What she was doing just didn't make sense for the photo shoot. They basically had to tell her to stop it. Alright, so, judging panel this week, the usual suspects. Tyra Nigel, Andre Leon Talley, and I'm so glad he's not wearing a shower curtain anymore. Congratulations. And the guest judge, like I said before, is Anthony Zweiker. So, let's break down the pictures. Laura, she was a flirt. I kind of thought her photo was too tame. I mean... Shouldn't it have been a little more sexy? Kayla. She was a cool chick, and I thought she totally nailed it. 
and I'm surprised that the judges weren't eating it up. Dominique, she was also a cool chick, although she didn't really look like it to me. Um, they said she had just the right amount of sexy. I thought she would have been a better socialite, but... <sighs> Brie, she was a flirt. It was okay. I didn't like the side profile that she was doing, and her, you know, she was doing... <laughs> but from the side. Alright, um, let's see, where were we? Alexandria. She was a socialite, but a 40-year-old socialite. I'm going to have to agree. It looked a little bit too old for the demographic. Allison, she was the girlfriend. I freaking love this photo. I thought she really nailed it as well. Camille, socialite. No, empty brain was more like it. She was just daydreaming like, oh my god, I got to pay those bills. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lisa, the cool chick. She was anything but, and she was full of excuses, too. Bianca, she was the flirt. Ugh, whatever. I didn't like her picture at all. Angeli, socialite. Like I said, and Homer said, nailed it. <laughs> Shannon, she was the girlfriend. I thought she was really great. I feel like um, her pictures don't get the love from Tyra because Tyra has something against pretty girls. She likes pretty ugly girls better than straight up pretty girls, so. The picks in order. Angelie was first, which I totally agree with. But then I thought it should have been Kayla's uh, photo next, but it was Dominique's, Allison, Laura, and then Kayla. Eh. Shannon, Brie, Bianca, Alexandria. So it the two girls who didn't get called were Lisa and Camille. So we got a case of crazy versus old. <laughs> so I guess crazy can come back next week. Uh, Camille was eliminated, so I guess she's got to go home and pay those bills. <sighs> next time, oh boy, double trouble. <laughs> or should I say triple trouble? The Kardashians and Latoya Jackson. Wow. Till next time, much love.